Hey, what's good, hashtag fam? What's good with y'all? It's your boy Zane, man. I'm off that Jeff, yo. I'm feeling good, Chris. I'm feeling good, too. Wow. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It is. It wasn't that hot outside. That's why I got my hoodie on right now. I'm feeling kind of fresh. But, you know, first and for- foremost, you know, make sure y'all follow me on all my social media platforms. That's at Zane Tommy. Tap in. Y'all make sure y'all do that. I don't see too many of y'all do that all the time. So do that. Do that more often, please. I would really appreciate that. And, you know, you got, you got your girl Tiff right here on the left, man. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay. New well, hair, is, that, is that new hair? I don't think it is. Hair. I was trying okay. to see what brunettes okay. do. You know what I'm saying? What kind of fun they be having up out here in the I streets? Rock with it. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so of course it is your girl Tiffany Noco. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at underscore Tiffany Noco. I'm also trying to get a little lit today too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a real short day tomorrow, so I, I'm oh, with congrats. the shit. I'm with the shit. I got a short day tomorrow. I'm with the shit. I'm just gonna go home and clean up. I got a company coming in this weekend, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and roll in Chris, and then we're going to get to these motherfucking topics. Good, Everybody's vibe is like, you know, fuck it. So I guess I'm on the same in shit. In real life. <laughs> um, yeah, since everybody, let's see, you wilding out, you trying mm-hmm. to wild out. This nigga done wild out on the intro, so I mean, you know, we just going uh, to wild it going. out Wednesday. Keep yeah, it yeah. going. So it's your girl, Chrissy Vett. Find me here at Sherche underscore law underscore Chris. I'm back on IG, so you will be seeing me. I'm going to be blasting hashtag shit, like, soon. Like, today. So, y'all about yeah. to get on your nerves. I know. I was like, so, I haven't done snippets. I had a fucking, <laughs> my weekend was like, weekend. wow, wow, bro. I just did myself so dirty. I had, it was family fun day weekend so i was out in camera with my family and let me tell you they like to party okay i took 10 shots and was totally done girl invite me i love totally done done then i tried to go get my crazy drunk ass in the lake but i would have drowned I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're here oh, with this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I ate up all the food. In that I love I family yeah. turn up. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in the corner like, yeah, no, I'm known Tiff for like eight years. <laughs> right. Like, like <laughs> it was a wild bro. Then, then, so like when we walked in, there was like this. So we have this little shot thing. It's six shots. So you gotta take the six shots, and then we have beer funnels. That, like my my family is wild, and we had beer funnels too. So literally, right after I did the shots, I did a beer funnel, and they put two beers in it it's for two people, but yeah, I was, I was pretty. Like, I, was like I was pretty fucked up this weekend. Like Woo! <laughs> so I didn't get to cut snippets and stuff like I anticipated because I was drunk one day and hung over the next. So mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sorry, but I'll be dropping some snippets for y'all this week for sure. I'm about to blast the shit out of y'all like the next couple of days. Niggas about to be mad. I rock with it. Okay. Oh, shit, but hashtag I'm, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to bring in the first topic. I know it's a little different for y'all, but I feel like I'm, I'm trying to run shit today. So you know, our first topic is the presidential debates. Now, I'm going to keep it G real with y'all. I did not watch that shit. I'm really disappointed in, in the, the Democratic Party right now. I ain't watched that shit. But I feel mm-hmm. like, Chris, you stay on top of your politics. I Thank feel like you, you might have caught a little wind of that. Give me a little bit of, you know, your, your opinion, your little bit of insight well, on that. Well, I'll talk about my favorite part, okay. mm-hmm. which was the part I actually happened to turn on the TV and watch. Um, I don't want to really sit and talk about who I'm supporting. I rock with that. Let's keep that. You know, let's keep it neutral yeah. here. We're going to keep real newt and cute. Um, but you know, Bernie Sanders, I love this man. Um, <laughs> I donated to his campaign last time. I was highly disappointed. Just fuck it. But anyway, this nigga Bernie, if you can find it, this nigga was talking to Paul Ryan and Paul Ryan was going in talking about the health care and, you know, things that they want to do. This nigga Bernie read the fuck out this nigga said. I wrote the damn bill though. So like yeah. all that shit you talking, <laughs> like I hear you, but yeah. Nigga, you know how long I've been like involved in government, my G? I mean, yeah. a vampire. Hey, you know <laughs> let me. And, and before we even get any yeah. deeper into it, I just learned how old Nancy Pelosi was like yesterday. I knew she was old, but I didn't know she was seventy nine. But women, too. she's seventy nine. She's seventy nine. She looks good. Wow, I didn't she know she was seventy nine. I didn't know I did that not. Damn, she like she looks good. For she's twenty too. years away from fucking being a hundred. Cause you know, I mean, yo, you know, hundred birthday. That's a, that's She's a year. The blood of our but incumbent. but you know what? Um, <laughs> women always had their age better than men anyway. So there's that. I mean, yeah. men age better. Just overall, we've kind of had that conversation before. Yeah. But women, sh- they hide their age better. You know. So. Yeah. But I didn't know she was that old. I didn't know that either. That's and, crazy. And she looks good. You know, she does I'm just look saying, good. just based on, cause um, what's his name? Uh, goddamn Biden. He's what eighty? Isn't he like eighty? 
Yeah, he's, he's like 80, he's 85 or something. And so is, I mean, obviously Bernie, that nigga looks like. I mean, he's better for he's, he's like. But he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. But, I mean, it was he's a lot old. of stuff. It was a lot of stuff going on with the debates. I mean, as far as, I don't know if everybody's keeping up. As far as everybody that's running for the Democratic Party, I'm running. That's how many niggas is running. It's, it's 20 just like, people. It's 20 it's fucking ridiculous. candidates. So it's 20 eligible candidates right now. So they split the debates down to two. It was 10 and 10. And everybody was more ex- more so excited about the one from yesterday because it had all of the uh, people who we've seen the most and I guess that have the most supporters right now. So amongst that crowd was Bernie Sanders, uh, Kam- Kamala Harris. Kamala uh, Harris. Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. Um, there was Joe Biden. Um Elizabeth Warren mm-hmm. and there Work. was another one. Beto Beto Work was also a part of this debate. He I was like there him. as well. Uh, did I say Joe Biden? I said Joe Biden. Cory and then Booker. so I don't know if you guys know this guy, but he's kind of he's kind of like I wouldn't say a big deal because I mean all of them consider themselves a big deal. But right. Pete um, Booting's J- Boot Jig. His his last name is very weird to pronounce, but it's like Boot. Geek or something like I that. Know you're but talking anywho, about. he is uh, the mayor for Indiana, for a southern part of Indiana, and he has a really like good track record. So he has a lot of things to like. He'll be the first in. Well, he's the first in a lot of different things as the mayor of Indiana because he's the first openly. Well. I'll, I'll retract my statement on that because I'm not 100 percent sure. But he's openly gay. He's openly he's, gay. He's married to a man. Um, mm-hmm. He also served uh, for the country. Um, mm-hmm. He was in the army, and there was something else about him. He's 29, so he was uh, the youngest elected mayor for Indiana. There's some other things too, but he's really, um, if you look at his background, he has like a really good track record, and there's really no dirt on him. He's a really good candidate, I think uh, personally. But um, then there was that other lady too she kind of just got noticed because she was talking about the reparations um mm. shit what is her name i wrote it down and also i just looked up how to pronounce his last name is uh, buddha judge buddha judge something of the nature buddha marianne judge. williamson um but she really has mm-hmm. no political background she's an author so mm-hmm. you know it kind of it, excuse me on my opinion but it kind of counts her out to just be frank because it's like no it you, doesn't trump had low political experience. well yes this is, right now. this is true i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right being a president is the um, only job you really don't need experience okay. but she she really has no uh political background that so I, I i think that's a kind of a eyebrow raiser for other people um or for probably a lot of people but I watched bits and pieces of the debate and personally I thought the two people who held their ground the best and who I did not read for complete utter bullshit was uh, Bernie and mm-hmm. Elizabeth and Elizabeth Thanks. has a great background too she she is actually if you uh, go back and just look at a little bit about her um, Obama so she is all for the people as far as she's she specialized in bankruptcy mm-hmm. and she's on the people side when it comes to bankruptcy the laws and the benefits for them as far as like credit card companies and just um taxes uh student loans just different things of that nature so if you go back and do like it watch anything on her you'll see that she's been fighting for a very long time or been on the side of the people as far as these as far as these benefits and uh just creating plans around how to decrease like uh student loan debt and get people out of credit card debt and just different things of that nature but she definitely specializes in um in bankruptcy so i thought that was really interesting and you need someone who has like some understanding of the finances because just frankly like the united states is in shit I like as Elizabeth far as the Warren. finances um i really like her as well i thought she, i think that she's a really good um candidate and then again uh burning so most of the debate was really about taxes which Kam- kamila kamila Kam- kamila what's her name kamila kamila she um she she like honed in on healthcare. that a lot health care and yeah. then also a uh, student loan student debt, loan debt. Yeah. that was like the the basis of the debate but yeah. i mean like i i i was uh i didn't really watch the entire um debate because it was like two hours long but i got a lot of of it and i'm actually gonna go back and watch it just because you know um yeah i don't really 
dive into politics. I'm not one for talking about politics, but I do want to educate myself on the candidates, just but, being that we're in a shitty fucking state with the president that we have now. And, you know, we need to get him out. I Again, y'all know my views on politics, but I, I don't want Donald Trump to win again, period. I'm just really off all Democratic uh, candidates because um, they're all trying to cater to black people. Like it's like, yeah. and, and the minorities in general is just very laughable. Like I think I seen a picture today of Cardi B talking to Bernie Sanders, and I was, was like, "What the fuck? Is Bar- what the fuck does Cardi wow. B have so anything to do with?" Let's talk about that. Too. All of that. I'm just being real. Like, just I just roll think, it in. I mean, it's just insane. Like how is it the next topic? Well, yeah. it's a part of this. Jason, uh, to this. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Well, I mean, just like I've seen a picture of Cardi B talking to Bernie Sanders about prison reform. Something. It was like something of that regard, and it's just like. Uh, I mean, Shit, Kim Kardashian is I doing the same thing. Understood, but it, okay, at least let's put, it, put it like this: I get it. Kim Kardashian is just a model and blah blah blah. But we're talking about uh, uh I'm sorry, she, she has no relevance. She has no expertise in that. Like, no. what is she going to talk fucking talk about? I'm sorry. Like, I just like I fuck with Cardi B, but if you just keep it a buck, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Man, I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe I, maybe she has no, a fucking no. whole no. lot of. Um, knowledge in regard to that she has really good ideas and can really influence Bernie Sanders if he wins the election to come up. no I don't fucking think so I'm sorry bro like she needs to stick to like fucking with her ghost her ghost uh, writer and dropping these albums and you know just being relevant in terms of a, a pop culture icon outside of that I just don't I just don't think I think that, that literally is just like you know what you should do Bernie fucking talk to Cardi B right you know, like right. Yeah, get, no. they'll, get, they'll get the nigga vote for sure. But I feel like, like that was, yeah. But I feel like that's the issue with that with Bernie Sanders and just looking at his platform how it was before. It was very celebrity driven, mm-hmm. and it didn't do shit. No, it didn't. So, but that's the same thing with um Hi- Hillary Clinton. Same thing. Same thing. I mean, Beto O'Rourke. Same thing. Yeah. Um, towards the end, not necessarily the beginning, but Maybe towards the end. Yeah, I'm about to say. Them. Yeah, she dropped that picture. You know, she supported Beto O'Rourke, but I actually enjoy Beto O'Rourke. Actually, my um, he got I, issues too. He does. Yeah. He. Yeah. I mean, they, they all. Every candidate literally they has, all have has a problem. Like, it's like no one is like, oh yeah, this is the fucking guy. Like, I don't yeah, think like, we'll ever say that this is the fucking guy for anybody, honestly. They all have their shit. And you know, Obama, you know, back in the gap. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, 07, Obama's not perfect. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is my president. But he was not perfect. He's had class. I fuck with, I fuck with the class. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. You know so, you're not going to be perfect. You know, I, can make, I can be able to please everybody. But if you got right. class, I can salute you on that. And see, can't that I class, like. can't just be cla- a classless fucking like bigot. Like the dude we have in pump. now? Yeah, crazy. Just insane. Like Some of the shit he says, I'm just like, your advisors let you say that? I'm I'm sure, I'm pretty sure his advisor's like don't 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 say that and he's like fuck that. fuck that <laughs> I'm gonna say that shit I mean honestly <laughs> I'm like gonna say that shit. at this point he can really it's been fucking proven that he can say whatever he wants and because he will and, not and, get and that's scary for. because it probably won the it next is. election that's, you know yeah, what the part. the I mean, that's just what it is in a nutshell. You got to look at the reality of the fact that he could definitely win your favorite again. rapper fucking supports him like wears a maga hat. Like, like you could do it. I'm just, just doing it again. Like, so <laughs> like that is what it is. He's green. He could, he, could, he could literally tweet nigger and he's gonna win. <laughs> and he'll be fine. <laughs> like, oh yeah, my god! Why white people election. those racist white people would be like so on that. They would love it. <laughs> they will love they, it they, so they, much. The next the next week would be like, oh, I'm in like the original. Like no, just shut, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Like, I hate so, it, so whatever. But that's kind of a thing too. So I was looking at that. I don't so. I don't follow Cardi on IG. I don't follow her like many moons ago uh, just for the simple fact that some of the things that she does just really gets under my fucking skin, period. So <laughs> I unfollowed her because, I mean, like, why complain about her if I'm going to follow her on Instagram and watch everything that she does? So, um, but, of course, the Shade Room and various other Hollywood Unlock Baller Alert, they're always retweeting or uh, reposting whatever it is that she fucking does. So I did get, um, I watched the videos of her talking about the um, the election, the campaign, mm-hmm. and just urging people to go out and, well, not really go out and vote because we haven't gotten there yet. But what she was urging people to do is to educate themselves on the candidates. And although, like, um, 
you know, she has no background as far as politics go. Um, I do appreciate the fact that she's urging people to educate themselves on the different candidates because that's a big thing. Some people, they just see like bits and pieces, little Facts. clips, and they be like, or they black, and they be like, I'm on a bandwagon. I don't care. Like, learn something about these people, what they have done in the past, because – Frankly, most people are that are in politics or that are running for um, the president. They they're not new to this shit. Okay, you can find something on them. Period. Whether it be good or it be bad. So you do need to go and educate yourselves on the candidates before you just pick a side or pick a person that you're gonna rock with because you don't know what the fuck they was talking about long ago. I as I said about. Um, what's the one lady? I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. She actually there's like. A long, long time ago, she was going back and forth with uh, Joe Biden about the credit card things. And he was actually on the side of the credit cards as far as them being able to charge these people all these amounts of money and go bankrupt. So, I mean, just just do some research is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Facts. I, mean, I agree. That's my only Whatever. Thing. Do y'all, bro. Y'all voted for Obama because he was black back in the gap. So. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of people did, absolutely, because it's the first person that had even got to the point of being president, like, a little fucking taste of walking into the White House. That was, like, the biggest thing. So a lot of people definitely did vote for him because he was black. They did. It was history. Mm -hmm. So people wanted him to be in that White House, period, period. And, I mean, even, I mean, like... When Obama started his campaign, I mean, I was very young, you know, but of course we watched it. I was in high school. We watched it all through high school, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, a lot of the things that he was advocating for were things that people wanted to see changing. So, I mean, yes, people vote. A lot of people voted for him because, I mean, he's black and that just is what it is. But it's not like he was coming out the gate like fucking Trump or something. Like he actually had good things that he was advocating for to make change for the country. He did at first not say he was biracial and then he started to say he was black towards the end of the presidency. I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, listen. I'm just saying. All, yeah. I'm, all I'm saying is people going to do what they want to do. True. Some people going to vote for Kam- Kamala, Kamala or whatever her name is because she black. Kamala. So, Kamala. Ah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with her. And then some people going to vote for the Asian girl. I don't vote for, You know what I'm saying? People, some people vote for him because he's gay. Like people, gonna vote. people don't give a shit about politics. Vote for who you fucking like. Do you? Okay, okay. is definitely running the show, right? Uh, that was <laughs> okay. not the message I was giving, but we're going to move on because, I mean, like, we, again, I mean, for the most part, we, we talk about the things that are important, but we don't really dive into politics too much. But anywho, um, the next topic, uh, Zane going to give us this one, too. We're talking about the hot girl, hot boy, Summer. What's up? What's up? Hot girl, hot boy, Summer. Hmm. I think this is very played out now. I think it was it was kind of funny at first, but like anytime I see it now on my on my TL or my Instagram timeline or you know any social media, or I just be like, eh, whatever. I think I think I'm just being honest. Like it's definitely it's definitely dope though that you know Meg The Stallion was able to like influence our summer and you know have a big really big impact on just pop culture and the slang we use this year and whatnot. It's dope. It's dope. But um, I, you know I, th- I think I'm kind of getting tired of uh tired of seeing this shit on my timeline so but you know and then the whole like what is a hot girl what is a hot boy you know what i'm saying that shit but that's shit a question did. though that's a question i know we, t- we talked about this at this little um so my homegirl got this little thing it's called becoming uh her ah. and she um and we talked about it there it's one girl was, and one girl said a hot girl was a uh, like somebody that's handling their business and having fun doing it at the same time and and then like a hot boy is just like fuck nigga so you know what i'm saying like it's just like they they they, they okay just, so they have to be parallel to one another but because that's, that's not how it's seen because though. it's a vice versa thing it's a hot girl hot boy summer like they can't be like oh hot girls are classy and we own our shit but hot boys are fuck niggas like <laughs> that does not go hand in hand it like they have to go hand in hand but um i pretty much enjoy this hot girl summer thing i mean not that I'm having a high girl summer or anything like that. But I think what people are confusing or conflicting the two is there is a such thing as a city girl and a hot girl. Those two do not go hand in hand. And I think that's what people are, are you know, confusing the two. Because we've seen these, you've seen certain clips where, <laughs> you've seen certain clips where, <laughs> or it's just memes or whatever of people saying, City girl summer, and you've seen certain ones of people saying hot girl summer, and maybe people are confusing them because Meg is always twerking, like she always twerking. 
<laughs> but listen, that bitch can twerk. She can move her ass. But she's, you know, she do a lot of the twerking. So I think people are like, you know, they want to intertwine the city girl and high girl thing because city girls are always twerking too. But no, them bitches are in two different categories. They yeah, different. That's a fact. They different, different. That's a fact. I mean. Yeah. I don't really have shit to say um, about it, except uh, I'm definitely hot girl summer all day. If I had to choose city girl summer, I mean, I ain't about getting bags and trapping niggas and shit. That's just not my thing. Mm-mm. But I think for me, the bigger discussion with hot girl summer is like half of these motherfuckers that are talking about hot girl summer, they booed up out here getting bags and shit. <laughs> and they got y'all ass out here hoeing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying y'all. That's fake. I ain't saying y'all. Real life. I mean, I mean, you can say what you want about Megan and her being with money bag yo, and this nigga got seven kids and he's 27, and you basically had a. He kid. got seven kids. Yes. Oh my so, god. So and that, I didn't that brings that. up another topic. I'll get into after we finish this little portion. But it's like these niggas out here really telling you to be your best whole self. Be horrific. And they really and are. I mean not be horrific. That's not really what hot girl summer is. However, but they city girls are telling you to be horrific. Okay? Be magnificent. <laughs> yes, damn it. I like I like that word. <laughs> they are telling you to be horrific. Real talk, city girls. Mm-hmm. But be safe. Be safe. Be safe though. Be safe. Ain't nothing wrong with being hot. Condoms, dental dam, all that. Listen, we are sex city girl here. summers are not about being safe. City girl summer are not this about like listen because if you are gonna catch that nut, they trying to trap you. Period. Mm-hmm. Like if they get if a city girl get anyone near a rich nigga and she can have his baby potentially she's having his baby period uh, period we're very nah. sex positive here at hashtag so just be your best uh safe um whole nificent self have a whole specular summer whole specular mm-hmm. summer have but i mean that. i mean that's not really what it means but what they're t- they're telling you out here that you know there's nothing wrong to me i look at being a hot girl is being carefree fun live my best life taking care of myself centering my chi here regardless if that's me doing bald-headed whole shit bald-headed. without my boyfriend <laughs> hey baby without my boyfriend <laughs> with my friends um or you know just whatever you know paying, what I'm saying? paying your bills not bald-headed whole shit. Paying yes. your bills. You know, i told my boyfriend that i told my boyfriend that recently i said you know I like doing ball headed hoe shit with my friends. He said he was holler laughing. He said, you crazy. But for real, like sometimes you want your space and that's what you want to do, and that's okay. And it's nothing wrong. Being a hot, having hot girl summer is taking care of self and whatever that is. If that's you twerking, driving the goddamn boat. If that's you, uh, what's the other phrase? Got a goddamn boat. She said fly the plane. That's the other. That's Who the other. Fly the that's plane? the other phrase that Megan be saying. Um, fly the I'm plane. driving the boat. Period. I I I like to drive the boat. But nonetheless, all that shit, that's what it is to me. And like she said, I think being a hot boy parallels that. Same shit. So take care of your your best self, being a hot boy. You can be you can have a hot girl summer and have a boyfriend. What you can't do is have a city girl summer and have a boyfriend. Them shits don't go together. Yeah, you can. Them shits don't go together. You can be a city girl with a boyfriend. You cheating on that nigga. Well, listen. You getting City girls up he one day. He's not, he not, he not gonna leave you. You heard that definitely. That, city girls definitely. I feel like it. if you having a city girl summer with a boyfriend, then you you either cheating and you just doing that shit real good, or you getting pimped out. Our girls cheat though too. I mean, every, I mean that's like saying black men don't cheat. We know this is not to be fact. So yes, I agree. I guess the biggest concern for me when it comes to hot girl summer and stuff, or just Megan the Stallion period, Meg Stallion, it's just like. Is it fucked up that I, f- okay, she's with Money Bag, yo. This nigga, twenty seven, got seven kids, right? And mm-hmm. I look at Meg with such that. high regard. Uh, she's smart. The bitch can spit. Mm-hmm. She out here. She's showing she that it's okay bag. to be your best ball headed whole self sometimes, mm-hmm. but be smart. And I love that. Like, I love it. However, is it bad that I'm like kind of? I don't want to put her stock value down, but it's like, sis. I know I made some <laughs> shitty decisions, but sis, like you like the thing out here popping and you got this nigga. And I guess the reason for me is because I feel like men have to do very little and still get shows. Mm-hmm. The bare fucking minimum, bless you. They do the bare minimum mm-hmm. and they have all the choices in the world. But yet a woman, you know, it's just like, oh, we have to exceed and do this and be that mm-hmm. and be that in order to get like shows. I'm sorry. I'm done. Go Meg ahead, the Stallion is from Acres Home. She it. No, she from she from Echo Tom. She from South Park. Okay, same. Okay, the I'm from opposite. South Park. Same thing. Very opposite though. My fault. Yeah, I it, no, it is opposite. I'm about to say that's South Side. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's polar opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> all I'm saying, I apologize. I'm, I'm not a Meg fan like that. But 
Money, money bag yo is the kind of nigga she gonna this fuck with. This is true. So I don't this know why. Like, so oh, I know, like, but I expected so more. I I get what you're saying. I expected a wee bit more. I knew it was gonna be a hood nigga. Yeah. <laughs> There's no it, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah, question. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was negative. expecting like a certain class of hood nigga, like on the level. I'm like not a Gucci man hood. Yes. Well, see, he got kids too. He ain't got seven kids though. No, but that's fine. But Gucci on a different. He a little more business too. Yeah. God damn it. He just read my mind. Yeah, I I got you. Exactly who I was about to say. I didn't know he had seven kids. See, I don't know anything about Money Bag Yo. I didn't know who he was until like he was with Megan Thee Stallion. If it if it wasn't for her, I would still not know who the fuck he is. But um. Huh? His music good. His music hard as fuck. Yeah, you definitely need to tap in. I do like yeah. one of his songs. I didn't actually. know who the fuck he was, but I definitely do. Like when I seen him, I was like, oh yeah, this is this is her type of her type of guy. But I had no idea with the I, seven kids. But there's levels to to hood niggadom. Excuse yeah, me. I mean, I mean, listen, everybody you came for all types of words today. Everybody <laughs> came for Jess too when she was talking to old boy who got what he got. Like oh, Country nine Wayne kids? is fine. He, he, got he got nine, nine kids though He is and he, he, he does And I still nah, He's questionable fuck that. too fuck He's questionable that. as fuck too Hell no Regardless of him being fine well, He gonna be here next week But Mm-mm, Ain't no way problem. Ain't no way Ain't no motherfucking way I don't know I just, way. I just don't I hate <laughs> the fact that For us We have to literally Go through leaps and bounds To let a nigga be like Hey You know Whatever Versus a man It's like But see that's on the, I mean that's the it's I just it. unfortunately that's just the way that it is unfortunately and it's the same thing with like her even considering or not even considering because she's dating him it's the same thing with like women who date men who have a, a number of kids like women are always more how should I say reasonable or they're more willing to overcome these things than it is men. man fuck out of here I know I mad niggas if that if date I females got, with a sh- if you I got seven kids you not trying to fuck with me period you're a lot. okay period. but mo- okay a regular seven even kids. a reg a regular nigga with seven kids ain't finna fucking he he's damn near a felon it's like getting a job a nigga with seven a nigga with seven kids is regular you talking about money bag? You talking about nigga with um, at least the M in his checking? Like, what are you talking about? Like, just have so it's it's, but, di- it's but, different. It's but, different. But nigga. bring it back, bring it back, because we talking about somebody who also got money in her bank too. So I'm talking about going hand in hand. I'm talking about just regular nigga and regular bitch. Like, if you are like, <laughs> like nigga, you, <laughs> no, for real though. Think about it. Are you trying to date a shorty with seven kids? No, nobody would. What are exactly. you saying? Exactly. But if you got, but if she got money. And you and you know her bank account is like stacked to some shit. You don't never got to worry about her seven kids or her her money or anything like that. You might consider the shit. That's no different from a woman. If I'm thinking about this that's nigga same. got, if even if he got two kids, that's situational. That's the same. That's the same thing. It's like oh like oh right now this nigga broke and uh, right now I can't deal with my needs to build himself up. So I really can't take him seriously. What the fuck is you saying? Like it's the same thing. It's like situational. Like it's all oh, I would fuck with him, but he in between jobs right now. <laughs> what the fuck is you like? It's the same shit. Like it's the same. thing situational. So yes, you're right. A shorty with seven kids, they barely feeding her family. No, I'm not interested. If she's had seven kids and she has forty five million in her checking account, yes, I might take her more seriously. She can take her other <laughs> kids. And if the box is still green, I'm I'm there. I'm step dad. I'm step father to seven children. And be the pappy of the For sure. Be the pappy of the kids. I'm just, I got you. It is situational. Exactly. But I'm also, just, what I'm, I'm just saying is, I'm, I'm still mm-hmm. going back off of what Chris said. Because mm-hmm. she said that, you know, men have it a lot easier when it comes to their circumstances in the situation that is like shit that you usually frown upon versus women. And that's a yeah, true that's statement. A it's a fucking fact. It's a fact. That is, I though. know men right now who will vow to not date a woman with kids. And I'm just a- going after the kids. I think thing. that's an age thing, though. And I know bitches who don't give a fuck. Like, they date me. You got five kids. And vice versa. I, I know females, they're like, I would never date a nigga with a kid. Literally. Like, I know. It's, it's vice versa. I just I just feel like it's all just it's a conversation situation. Though. Like, you're going to be, you're on a, you're on a, give, me the, give me the woman's perspective. I'm giving you the male perspective. Like, I got hella homies. I'd be like, oh, she got a kid? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm one of them niggas that's like, oh, I ain't ready for all that. But, I mean, I didn't fuck with shorties that got a kid, but I ain't <laughs> I only met one shorty kid before, but that that's different. That's, that that doesn't no matter. So all I'm saying is like for the most part, I only meet their kids, and and I'm approaching that situation differently anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. To each his own. Then didn't right. you? Didn't you? I did some other kids. Yeah, absolutely, I did. True. Yeah. So I had I obviously had no problem with it. 
it was a it wasn't a situational thing. I just didn't have a problem with the fact that he had kids. But you know, I mean, later some shit started changing, and that made me look at that whole thing different. But would I would that date be your first someone choice? with your children first, yeah. now? Probably not. Probably not. Ooh. Yeah, they probably are not. I've noticed. I will say when I was like really actively dating, it's actually quite a few men out here that don't have kids. Oh, for sure. It is. It is. It is. And it's it is. funny because they're all in like the same age bracket of like 37. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's the age. younger ones that got kids. Ooh, baby. That's the fucking weird part. Baby. It's the younger men that have kids versus the ones that are like, oh, I'm 29, I'm 30, I'm 31. They ain't got no kids. I say this the younger ones got what? a slew of kids, the older ones got kids. But the younger ones be having like, yeah, this is me and like my whole like family. And it's like, damn. I, I don't know. Mm. I, I don't feel like know. the older ones, they don't have none. Because the last couple so, of guys that I was just like, no, talk to 29, 30, 30. No, them young cats can't handle me. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I just feel like y'all need to uh, stay, in, stay in the appropriate lane with this high girl, city girl shit. And stop trying to make your city girl shit high girl shit. Because they are two different things. Do you? There's a view out here high. Oh, my God. I seen this one video. Yeah, a whole girl summer. I, seen it, I wish I can pull it up. I seen this one video of this girl. First of all, her voice was just annoying. I would have never watched it had it not had, like, all these things attached to it. But she was like, I ain't going on no dates with no... This is literally her voice. Just she like, from New Orleans? I don't know. No, no, no. I think oh. I'm just doing that. But, oh. anywho, she had this, like, high-pitched, ghetto-ass, like, super annoying voice. I ain't going on no nigga. I ain't going on no dates. If you ain't paying a bill for me first, don't ask to take me out to dinner. What you need to do is pay my rent. Like, she went on a whole rant for at least, like, two minutes <laughs> about the fact that she's not going on any dates or even taking you serious if you're not approaching her with money. And I'm like, girl, you just, you, you prostitute. Being basically. a Houston resident for the past five years. <laughs> this is so serious. <laughs> a lot of females are like that. Y'all are insane with that shit. Like, I, oh I my God. I'll that. be like, oh my goodness. It's like, I hate, I only like going out with females no more because I ain't, because I already know I they, expect me, they, expect, okay. they expect me to pay for it. You know, your times I was like, are oh, we going half right now? like, oh, can I, say I didn't something even my wallet. Okay, can I say something briefly? Now, I don't do that. Now, I, I will say this. Shit. If I'm dating you for a minute, I am the one. Like, for instance, if we've been kicking it for at least a good strong month, and it's like, okay, I'm coming to see you constantly to give you booty, whatever, I don't know you need. But I'm coming to you. I'm driving to you. That's mileage. That's gas. Now, if I be that's like, time. baby, that's time. And I'm like, baby, now, I done came out here three days back to back. Now, I done gave you some ass. I done cooked probably. You know, you probably done, you know, whatever I done did for you. I'll take uh, that. Uh, so, okay. That's, that's one. I'll take that. That's Now, I don't see a problem with doing that after some time has been I first met you. No, I just met not off you. the first meet. And it's like you and, can't and, do that. And I got female homies, that's and wrong. I got and like I just I'm not a stupid nigga. And it's like Ooh. I know like they'll be you like that's so hard. It's, I'm just being real because it's like it's you like girls be like oh yeah I'll just go on a date with a nigga just so I can eat, I can eat for free, free meals. And I'm like Ugh. do I like a fuck nigga to you? Look, you got to pay for this first one on you or no Dutch, or just pay for. And your own I'm shit. just like unless I'm just like. Per, I'm all the, I, I don't do this shit no way I'm just like Let's go out Let's go out And then like You're always like I'm busy you know And then you're finally like Yeah Alright fuck it I'm, I'm probably gonna pay for it Cause you really doing me a favor Cause you damn near Didn't even wanna give me The time of day I, but I'll admit I've done that I've done it Okay <laughs> a Bitch been hungry And it was good company But it wasn't like I just straight Like didn't fuck with the nigga It was like You know what It's good company I know Oh we going out Great like this is op this is an opportune time, <laughs> but is it something I did all the time that I just have like food bay? Oh no 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 no! Anybody no. ever trying to take me out though? Thank Fuck you. going on? Y'all hate gender norms, but that's oh. I'm supposed to take y'all out all the time. I, I take yeah. my girl. How about you? Know be the worst thing. Girl, be like we should go get something to eat, and I'd be like, all right. And, then and the bitch still like, think I'm for the oh, she's my no, friend. No, no. I'm supposed See, to still pay for you? I don't do that. What the fuck? I like do not do I literally that. know how many times I cannot count how many mm -hmm. times I can't count on one hand how many times I told the waiter when I went to the restroom split the bill. <laughs> I don't do that. I love it. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Do that. I can't do it. Because no. like Houston shorties for sure. For sure. They was, Especially they was like if, even if we're dating, even if we're dating, if I asked you or invited you out somewhere, just like for example, I'm inviting someone with me for a weekend to go somewhere, and I now because I put in to share a room with my girlfriends, but now I'm gonna invite you with me. I invited you. I'm not gonna ask you to put in on this room. Not I'm just not gonna not do it. Like mm -hmm. you, I'm not gonna do that because I'm. 
I mean, I'm not inconveniencing you because you want to come, but like I'm inconveniencing you by asking you to come somewhere with me. Now you already have to spend money on top of that that you didn't plan to spend because now you're coming out of town Bro, with me. Bad. So I'm not finna ask That's, you, you know, to put too. in. On the, I'm not finna ask you. Go on a trip room. and they be like, you supposed to pay for everything. For the trip. No, that shit crazy. I'm talking about that's Houston shit though. That's, that is that's Houston. Not, shit. That's, 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 that's the new, that's the new women. That's the new young you look. fucking with. Oh, no, yeah, that's not necessarily me. true because, because I'm, going I'm not on, doing that. That's not true because I'm going on a vacation next week and we went half. And I'm not, Facts. and also, like, even, so I can't lie and say that I've never went out on, this is my younger self, this is some years ago, that I didn't go out on a date, you just asked me on a date, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you gonna, yeah, I'm about to get some food, like, we gonna pay for it, because we going to dinner for sure, I'm gonna eat, like, and I know you finna pay for it, but mm-hmm. never, ever, one time ever in my life have I gone on a date and just literally like fully expected you to have some like to pay for it and I didn't like bring money with me. But I've never gone on a date and not yeah, had never money just had with it. me. Yeah. Because I'm always expecting the the possibility that you're like pay for your own shit. And if that's the case, like I'm not gonna be out here looking like, Oh, I really just came on this motherfucking date for some food. Thank like God I'm about to have money issue. to pay for it. I'm so glad I've never had that, that issue of like Hey, you're gonna have to pay for this. I wish a nigga would. I mean, usually that's something I feel. But once, but once again, I'm a little different because I go into stuff like Tip said. I already expect to cover my shit. Yeah. So when that check come, I will pull out my shit with the full intention right. to pay. Right. And if somebody like, nah, you good. Yeah. Great. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if this is not our first date and you ask me out again, I have no intention on paying for none of this motherfucking shit. Period. You ask me out again. You asked me out again, so you enjoy my company, and you are asking me to come out to do something with you. I'm not finna pay for that shit again. You paying for it? Okay, period. I You're paying for it. I guess, bro. Because if I ask you on a date the first time, and like, I don't know, I pay for your food, and the next time you hit me, I'm like, hey, you want to get something to eat? And it's like, That's sure. I didn't hit you up. Man, like I'm telling you, like the other way around, be happening all the time. Like hit me up and like let's go get food, and it's like they finally pay for it. Like it's well, so I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure who. You fucking with, but I'm not doing that. It ain't just I one ask, person too. Like you be well, thinking, like I want you to think like know. this is one he messes. No, it's like a hundred people. Like hundred like, mm-hmm. people. Like a lot that's of just people. like if I hit you for up sure. on some shit. Like oh, let's go get some drinks. I'm not expecting you to pay for my shit. I'm not expecting you to pay for my shit. I might pay for even a couple of your drinks because I asked you to come out. That's what I'm saying, and you know that's saying? a whole nother. That's a whole nother thing. We gonna say that for another time about the invite if it's extended. Yep. You pay for what? Yep. Yep. That's the yep. yeah. fucking. Because section surfers in the H pull up to your oh, fucking no, section and just grab your bottle like what the fuck wrong with you? No, don't do Should that. Should be either. having all the time the section surfers? Like you ain't never heard oh, of yeah. section surfer club? They just be at all them clubs just se- hot section hopping and just grabbing your bottle and Bitches do that. Like, That's what? a real thing. I'll be oh, like, women, oh, women oh, definitely Not do even that. bitches. T- niggas do it too. Niggas do it too. Females sure. do it way more prevalently. Come on now. They do it more. But, but way more. Because we have to finesse the side in. No, 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 no. You don't know. No, because here's the thing too because niggas be let me, let me let me have a full disclaimer, okay? Because niggas be out here talking about, oh, you bitches just be trying to get in somebody's section and drink for free, blah, 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 blah. You niggas be inviting bitches to your section. Like, cut it out. Cut it the fuck out. Y'all be getting a section, and some of y'all are lame as fuck, and don't nobody be wanting to come to y'all shit. So y'all be pulling bitches that you think is cute to come into your motherfucking section. Like, we're not, quit we're not talking shit. about that, though. We're talking quit about people shit. that just literally hop, just run in your section. Well, see, that's crazy. Sit down. That's crazy. I ain't doing <laughs> that. I'm talking about if I invited you, why the fuck would I trip? I invited you. Literally, every time I go to a club, I'm getting invited to a section. Some random ass person that I don't know. Like, but how is that oh, relevant would you, to? Would you come to like? Because I'm saying, cause cause guys be out here like fronting, okay, like oh nigga, bitches just be in my section and say like nah, just stop acting like you an ass shorty to be in your shit. That's a different kind of nigga. Okay, we're talking about the, I'm talking about the niggas that literally cop a section. And I invite a couple females and then I somehow. Shorty and her homeboy and Shorty and Shorty and her two homegirls end up in my shit. I don't even know her fucking friends. They're not even fucking talking to me in the yeah, section we, uh, mm-hmm. and they're drinking my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't say hi to me. Nah. So I'm talking about that shit happens nah. all the time. Nah. Like, literally all the time. Nah, 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 and then you got Shorty's like, it's just like, oh my God, it's kind of bringing you to another, it's like another different topic. It's just like, female, female, women will expect you to have $10,000 worth of clothes, 10000 year checking account, a $1,500 condo, and a nice Ooh. ass foreign, but the bitch drive Ooh. a Honda Accord and she live in Section A housing uh, and she can be able to get her nails paid for a lot. Of, what? A what? lot of no, a no, lot no, of no, women no, no, don't have shit and they, they expect the nigga that, that they expect they expect the nigga to have all shit together at age twenty five. I feel immature ass bitches. That's immature. That's immature ass bitches. A lot of bitches. There's a lot of shorties that's twenty eight going on. That's a lot of dusty. Like I said, that's some old dusty bottom barrel. 
old raggly, scraggly assholes you don't need to be fucking yeah, with anyway. No, so no. if someone wants to sit here and try to, you know, put together Zane as far as, okay, let's calculate his entire wealth based on material possessions, then motherfucker, that's a cancel. You cancel that bitch. Yeah, that's it. Sure. Oh, that's yeah, that. yeah. They, they, so they, they had their they, use. They, are they got out their here. use. I don't. They out here, but at the same <laughs> they, time, it's like, are. I mean, but niggas are like that too. Niggas, the older... Let me let me speak to somebody who's a little bit older. Like niggas, let you get a little older. I promise you, niggas do the same exact shit. Because I've had many a nigga talking about you got a good job, you drive this, you live where, all the fucking time. It's noticed. Yeah. It's noticed. Don't get me wrong. It's gonna be. Oh, noticed. it ain't just noticed. It's called out and it's like repeatedly like, like brought in it. discussion. Yeah. It, right, it, right. And you know why it's brought in discussion? Because it's shit not common. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. I'm talking it's, about. I'm talking it's, about. It's not. I'm it's talking not, about. It's come not. on. I'm I, talking I, about. I, I have to stop. I disagree. Him on this. I have to stop him on this. I just stop because it be so many. I for me personally, especially like the last couple of guys that I've dated, all of them have had their shit together. They've had their shit together. I've ran into far more men who have their things put together as far as like having a stable job, having their own place to stay, than I have women. And unfortunately, it just is. Not to say not to say that women, women don't, don't have their I shit together. With that. Not to say that women don't have their shit together, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But I, again, I've ran into far more men who have their things together than it is women. So sometimes men are very, how should I wouldn't say like thrown off, but they're like excited that they didn't met somebody, a, a woman who actually has their own place, has a stable job, and have some things going for themselves. Because a lot of times that, and and it's unfortunate because there are so many women, especially out in Houston. I feel like have their things together and have so much to offer but you also have so many more women who don't have their shit together who don't have shit to offer but they're expecting these men that they date or that they're attracted to just like have their shit together and be somehow willing like at the drop of a dime to cater to them or to take care of them and I think that's why you know also with Zane being on the defense because you run into far more women who don't have their things together and expect you to have your shit together and to be willing to take care of them just off of whatever basis then you do men maybe i I promise i think i know what you're about to say maybe it's a little different because i'm older Mm -hmm. and on top of that i i mean i'm not knocking nobody but i did go to school i went to college and a lot of people i hang with are successful women they they they're lawyers they're directors they're doing shit i'm gonna keep it a buck and i'm not trying to be cocky or conceited or nothing all of my friends are doing something straight up and and but once again i don't and then black women we're the most we're the highly most highly educated out of any group in the country so it's just like i don't know maybe once again like i said maybe my crew is different just as far as you know like i said i went to school it's a lot of black women out here successful at least all i know nothing i know i know no i don't disagree with that i know that for a fact because i've dated them however I know a shitload of black women out here who are single, no kids, out here making at least 60, at least 60 a year, got their own shit, and they doing the damn thing. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I mean, like, I, that's, that's definitely a whole discussion because I have so much more to add on to that. But we're really we'll out of time. That. Yeah, we need, we, we're going to have that as a topic. Okay, we're going to have that as a topic. We're going to come back and we're going to dive into that more because there's more I have to say on it. Um, but we are out of time. We had another topic that we'll get to. Um, so I'm just going to throw it out there. If y'all haven't seen this video of actor Army Hammer and his two-year-old son Ford sucking his toes because it's a foot fetish, please go look at that and just see how you feel about it because there was comments on it um you know threatening to call cps on that family uh but if, apparently the baby has a foot fetish and he goes around playing with people's feet all the time or sucking on their toes which is disgusting oh yeah but, I've seen that video. I'm but sorry. there's that um so we are going to uh wrap it up close out the show i'm gonna go ahead and give my outro and then you know zane will take us out so again of course follow me on instagram at underscore tiffany no co and i'll see y'all next week Week. I really got shit to say. It's your girl Chrissy Vet. Find me, sure Shay underscore line underscore Chris. Uh, yeah. Thanks for Zane running the show. Maybe you should do this more often. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's all right. So. 
Yeah, hashtag fam. Um, I'm gonna have to start bringing this show some more because I feel like I'm the captain of the boat now. But oh, oh you no, driving the boat? I'm, I'm driving the motherfucking boat on wild on this very beautiful wild out Wednesday. Some drinks next time. Hashtag fam, y'all take a shot for me. If you don't drink, take a shot of water. It really don't matter to me. But we'll see y'all next week. And make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms at Zane Tommy, and we out. Dupes. Bye.